Thank you so much for joining me. I just clicked the record button. My name is Cassandra, AKA the Daily Wealth Ninja. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit about margin trading. This is the third video in my new mini series on margin trading with Forex. And I'm doing this series because last year I made the decision that I wanted to help as many people as I could become debt free and empower them to really just follow, follow their dreams, right? And one of the ways that I know how to do that is with Forex. It's the only skill set I have ever found that allows you to potentially create additional income without having to be a salesperson. Hi, Marco. Thanks so much for joining. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering what is margin, what is initial margin requirement, what is initial required margin, because it's not quite the same, and how to calculate required margin, which you don't really need to do, but if you want to know how to do it, I'm going to show you here today. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, there we go. All right, so first of all, something really important that most Forex traders do not understand is that the ability to open trades does not rely on your account or what's also called your balance, as I've talked about in a prior video. And I'm looking down here to make sure I stay on track because I have some notes on my phone here. Um, but the ability to open trades in Forex is, is based on the amount of margin that you have, the amount of available margin, rather. Okay. So first of all, margin is basically a small amount of capital or your balance that is required in, in order to open and maintain trades within Forex. Now, this is basically considered good faith deposit or even collateral, but if you don't have enough of it based off of the currency pair and your broker, you will not be able to place a trade, nor will you be able to keep it, keep it open because they will close it if you don't have enough. So this is not a fee. This is not a transaction cost. It's just a portion of your funds that are set aside in order for you to have said um, trade. So it's, like I said, it's basically part of your account balance, all right? So it's to cover potential loss of trade, so that way the broker's not out. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So like, just make sure the broker's not out if your account goes south, or rather your trade goes south. So it's a portion locked up from your balance, um, and it is released when the trade closes. So if it is released and your trade closes in the negative, obviously you lose that margin. If it if it closes in the positive, you actually get it back plus whatever you made on said trade. All right, and before I keep going, um, I'm not going to give you any results here, but as you can see in the above, I am not a licensed financial advisor. If you have any questions or are going to take my advice, please be sure to speak with one because I am simply sharing with you what I am learning on my own Forex journey in the hopes that it will empower you for greater success for yours. All right, so margin requirement. Margin requirement is expressed as a percentage of your full position size, okay? So it's also known as your notational value, and it varies depending upon your currency pair and your broker. I can't give you all the details of that. Please look. Please contact the uh, support team for your specific broker for more information. So it's seen as a percentage. And the difference between a margin requirement, which is the percentage that you, is required to have your trade um, for your margin, there's also required margin. So margin requirement, which is a percent, and required margin, which is a specific amount of your account's currency. So each position will have its own required margin. So it's also known as deposit margin, entry margin, or initial margin. All right. So let's say that you have, um, or rather that you want to trade 100,000 units of Euro USD at full value, but your margin requirement is only 2%, right? Margin requirement is your percentage. That means that of that 100,000 that you're wanting to trade, you only need to have 2,000 of that in margin from your balance, all right? So that will allow you to open up and potentially keep that trade until it uh, hopefully goes in your favor, all right? So that's basically how you calculate it. But I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit more numbers because I, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty visual. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Perfect. All right, so... When you're calculating margin, if the base of the currency is the same as your own, there's nothing extra fancy you have to do, right? So the calculation is according to the base currency, which is that first one, and the percent and this percentage of your position size. So your notational value, notational value, 
times margin requirement. Oops. Right. So that is the calculation for it. So what does that mean? So let's say, and I, we'll just use black again. We'll use we'll use black because um, I know that some people are are red, green, color blind. So let's say again that you had that hundred thousand units of let's say Euro USD, and then um, your margin requirement was let's say two percent. That means that you in in math, right? You move the period over two to the left, right? So that's now two. Okay. Oh no, please don't. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> and just make that a little bit longer, please. Oh, really? All right, I'll get it one day. I'll get it. There we go. All right, so again, maybe you have 100,000 of, let's say, Euro USD that you want to trade, and your um, margin requirement is 2%. Again, this is based off of several factors, right? The currency pair in your broker. So that means that 200,000, right, becomes $2,000 that you actually have to have in order to uh, or rather in your uh, available in your balance to be provided for margin so that way you can trade 100,000 units of euro usd again that is if your same if if it's the same as your base if it's different from your base it means it is the let's expand this notational value times your margin requirement and I believe it's times, yes, times the exchange rate between your account currency and the base. Okay, so what that means is, let's say that um, Euro, SD, Euro USD won't be a good good example for this, but basically whatever your exchange rate between is uh, between your base, which is this first one right here. I don't know if I can, can I do it? I think I can do it this way. Yeah. So your base is this one. It's the one on the left. It's one on the left. So whatever that one is, right? So Euro USD wouldn't be a, a good one to do, I don't think. But but you get the picture, right? That's just how you calculate it. And I don't even know if you can see that from there. You can't, can you? So let me <laughs> let me do this so you can actually see it. Oh no. There we go. Yoink. <laughs> so again, national your notational value times your margin requirement, which is the percentage, times the exchange rate if the base currency of your currency pair is not the same as what your account is, right? So mine's going to be U.S. dollar because I'm in I'm in you know the U.S. And so if the base isn't USD, which that one isn't, I'd have to um, calculate it by the exchange rate between USD and then whatever is the base. So that's it. That's basically all that I said I would share today. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I really appreciate it. Hey, Words. Hey, Shane. Thank you so much for the love. I appreciate that. So like I said, that's what I want to share with you today. If you got value from this, please like this video. Share it with someone you think should hear it today. And if you want to see more from me, just go ahead. If you're watching this on Facebook first, just go ahead and tap somewhere up here. There should be a, a way for you to turn on live notifications. If you're watching this on the replay on YouTube, there should be a subscribe button somewhere about here. And then be sure to click the little bell to be notified. Again, have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day. If you would like some more cool stuff, I actually have a free group, the Daily Wealth Ninjas of Forex over on Facebook. If you are currently on Facebook, I have tagged my page somewhere in the description. Otherwise, on YouTube or my blog, uh, there will be a link for information on that as well. So again, thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day and happy trading. Bye. Oh, oh, one more thing. <laughs> If you can't wait every week for me to do something like this, I actually utilize an educational platform that provides me the tools, the training, direct mentorship, over 60 plus hours of it each week, right? All of that is available with this platform. So if you want more information, just let me know. All right. Thanks. Have a, have a great night and I will see you in the next one.